So today I'm going to teach you how to create a cover front and back um, on Canva for a KDP Amazon layout. So I know that Amazon KDP has a cover, I think, set up in there for you. But I know for me personally as a designer, I like, I mean, I use InDesign, but like I wanted to create a, a Canva tutorial for others who might not have access to InDesign. And so this can give you a little bit more uh, creativity on your layout. So here we go. First, you're gonna go to the amazon.com slash cover dash calculator and so this will be like when you're done with your book you have to have your whole page count uh, the size of your book all of that this is where you'll go to get the templates and the exact sizing you need for your kdp cover so binding type we're going to go with paperback today interior type just black and white paper type uh, I'm going to choose cream, or excuse me, white paper and uh, reading directions left to right, measurement units, inches, interior trim size. We're going to go with the six by nine. And we're just going to do like a 72 page book. We'll just say it's a small book. All right, from here, you get your, your sizing for your width and your height. And you could go in and type all of this in or you could just download the template they have here for you. And what's awesome about this is that they have a PNG. So that's gonna be great whenever you're creating this in Canva. So when you go to Canva, you're gonna to go to create design and make sure that your units are in inches. I know whenever you first start, they might be in pixels, but just make sure that your units are in inches because you don't want to design a tiny little cover. <laughs> um, we're going to open the PNG so we can get our sizing. And we're going to use the overall dimension sizing. So your width will be 12.412. And then the height will be the 9.250. And this has your bleeds on there. So that's like the red area here. All right, we're going to create a new design. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and create an extra layout here just so that we can place that PNG in that area. All right, so we're going to size this. Okay. All right. Very interesting. Okay, well, that's fine. You could just grab this if you wanted to. Let's say this is gonna be our book cover. Um, and we can move things around to make it work for us. All right, so what I'm gonna do is kind of create some guides for myself. So since we know we don't want anything in the red, we're gonna, I'm gonna create a guide here. Oops, Command C if you accidentally move stuff. All right, so we're gonna copy this and then paste that. All right, let's just pretend this is our title. This is perfect, actually. Move my little picture. All right. So from here, we need to get the size of this barcode. Just do one. Well, let me delete it. There it goes. All right. 
And so I'm going to zoom in and just create the barcode here. I'm going to copy this and we're going to paste it and we're just going to color that white so we know not to put anything there. Alrighty. So this would, let's say this is our book cover and you can add your text on the back of the book. So we'll add your text here for a summary. And let's make this that brown color it matches. There you go. And from here, I am going to grab, download a template. I'm going to put it on top of this one. I'm going to bring the transparency down just so I can kind of see. See, like right here, I can tell that that is not white in the middle. So you could move that to the side. Let's see here. So there's that cut line right here. So I'm looking in between here and here. Look where that cut line would be. And about where the fold line would be. Yeah, I think that would work. All right, so delete this, delete that middle part. You would delete that and then go share, download. This would be a print PDF, CMYK, and then download it. And there you have it. There is your cover. We're ready to go. I would have a, I have a few suggestions to fix that, but <laughs> this is just really quick, just to teach you um, quickly how to create a book cover in Canva for KDP Amazon. So hope this helps. If you need any other help, um, please feel free to reach out and I will add my email and ways to get in contact with me on the descriptions. All right. Have a great week. Bye.